the cell phone dogs was a whole different process. You know, we weren't quite sure what we were looking at or what odor they would detect. So we just, we had to start from scratch and doing different things. We actually took phones apart and, and placed them in the boxes to see if the dogs could smell them. Um, you know, we started rewarding them. Basically, we just started training them just like we would a narcotics dog. And, and quite frankly, it, they caught on to it pretty quickly. The phones obviously are a huge threat. Um, you know, they can continue with criminal enterprises. They can set up stuff on the outside. You know, there's actually been documented cases of, of you know, threatening witnesses, um, setting up hits on the outside. Um, they can actually, you know, give personal information on staff, which, you know, becomes a threat to staff. They can describe vehicles, people. So, you know, a phone in the institution is, is extremely problematic in regards to the illegal activities that they continue with when they have those devices. Riley, he does a good job. Uh, like, like they were saying earlier, you know, he'll go through, uh, people will go through and pick up the ones that they're trying to ditch, but uh, he'll go behind them and he'll, he'll find like safes and like a few times he's found a safe up underneath the wall, underneath the bunk in the back where, you know, nobody's going to crawl under a bunk right there. And, you know, he alerted on that area and I think there was four phones in that area. So he, uh, he's like, he's like a flashlight. You just hold the, the leash and he'll point in the direction. Just makes it easier. One of the primary benefits is that the dogs can search an area in a matter of minutes that might take staff, you know, hours to do. Um, this area we're sitting in right now, uh, Riley went through here and he searched it in less than five minutes. If I was assigned staff to come in here and search this size of area, it would take at least you know, four, five, six staff, at least a couple hours to go through here. So what they would do in five to six hours, Riley can do in five minutes. When when the uh, inmates know we're coming in, they know the cell phone dog's coming too, they don't want to get it caught with them. Or they don't want it to get caught in their living space and they'll ditch them, they'll throw them in the, they'll throw them in the trash, stick them in the bushes or wherever they think they can find, they can hide them. Of course, that just makes it easier for Riley to find them. If they're gonna get caught one way or the other, we're gonna find the phone. Um, if it's not between our dogs and our staff searching for them, or, uh, cell sense towers and our tissue scanners, we're going to find the phones.